right, you ready? They can buy us. Top tip. To do like a Colorado. Saw some guys do it their day. And most of them were trucks pulling trailers. See, we were close to Nemo Tunnel. I forgot all about it or we would have done that while yeah. we were out there. Yeah, I'd have to do it if I was there. He can burn that. What's that? Them nachos. Hey, it'll be okay. <laughs> Coming out here to our bathroom. And since it is January in the middle of the winter, we want to set up a little heat option. So we had the awning bathroom, but it keeps your bathroom right there close to camp. So I think we're going to do that for the shower and this for the toilet. Okay. Turning on low heat there. Now yeah, we'll have a nice little warm restroom break in a few minutes. If we don't melt our tent down. Okay. I'm gonna test that out in a minute. Give me a bottle of water, would you love? Yeah. Okay, it's just okay. better. It's just better. Oh. Yum. Yeah. Got it? Pork. That looks like grease. That was amazing. I bet she took my knees. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Clara, you okay. made perfect popcorn. That is oh my the gosh. best looking Jiffy Pop I've ever Did seen. you turn that burner off? Yeah. That was mm. That was good. Much better air down.
<laughs> we haven't even got like 200 feet in. Hey, I found a book on the trail. Let me stop and read this. <laughs> You'll be okay. <laughs> old fat man. Hey, you know how you become a old skinny man? Doing this. Okay, so we are leaving the big piney campsite we had. And uh, we just come across, basically right across the big piney on the old iron bridge and there's a trail here. If you guys are into hiking, um, I'll pin this location or something. There's a seven, 12 and 19, something like that? So. Seven, 12 and 19 mile markers. And the 19 mile goes all the way to a campground where you can backpack camp. So. I didn't even know there was that kind of hiking around here, but that would be cool. So, if you're a hiker, that's the place to be. Anyway, we've got everything loaded up. We're back in the convoy, and we're going to go back across Car Wash Falls and hang a left there instead of going towards deer and just kind of do some exploring. So, that's kind of what you do, right? So this is Car Wash Falls. A lot of times, guys, after a good storm, this falls runs really well. Obviously in the middle of January, it's not gonna be running quite as fast. Okay, so I think we should do a little talking because we haven't done much talking on our video, really, since we've been out here. Most have been shots. And we have gotten some really pretty shots, but um, I feel like because our group was so big, we were pretty well uh, stuck in the group and not necessarily so much on camera. So this has been our first real, there's a trail. This has been our first real uh, overland trip in the truck, I would say, right? Yeah, I don't know, Christmas really short. Yeah, Christmas was short, and, and we've just, like, we've so thrown together, we just carried all our gear, like, mm -hmm. so in this trip, it was the first trip where we had our diesel heater set up the way we're going to use a diesel heater, it had its own self-contained battery, which worked great, we, we used it all night, two nights, and it stayed nice and toasty in the tent. The first night, we were working on some adjusting a little bit, so Connor was kind of cold down on the bottom bunk, but last night was good, right, Con? Um, so anyway... We got to break in our new Snow Peak fire pit. It worked out well for cooking steak on. Mike cooked a steak on it as well. So. Yeah, it folded up really easy too. Yeah. It's super simple because I didn't up. have any idea how to do it. Yeah. It. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. 
but uh, uh, overall, I think it's been a successful trip. Here's another little overlanding spot. I think it's been a successful trip, and I'm pretty happy with our setup. There's a few minor things I'm going to tweak, probably with the airbags. They kind of drain off air if the compressor's not running, and I just need to get those leaks sealed up. So, Anyway, let us know uh, what you think. I took some good drone shots. I'll, I'll put some of that in here right now of the truck and kind of our setup and some pictures of everything. And kind of let me know if you guys would do anything different or, or what you think. So give me some pointers. Okay, so we've come down here across the uh, low water bridge, going the opposite way of deer, and to the right, just houses back in there, and I'm sure they get a lot of visitors because they've got private drive signs everywhere once you get down in there, and there's spots to turn around. But So we're going to take the road the other way now and kind of see where this leads us. Oh, we lost our group. Where is everybody? There they are. So anyway. These, it doesn't matter where you are out here. Literally, you look off this road. Look at those buffs over there. You look off this road anywhere, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So if that's your thing, when you're overlanding and you're looking for easy places to camp and pretty scenery, which I'm pretty sure that's the reason most of us overland. <laughs> Yeah, but see if they had like a toggle switch where it was always on when the accessory was on. When you started the car back up, it would just automatically come on. That's what I wish it had. Yeah, that would be cool. My old one to do that. to run over that hot camera person there on the side of the road. Looks like it gets kind of steep here. I mean, nothing we can't handle. Okay, no, it's not that bad. Never mind. <laughs> Subscribe on YouTube. Check out our channel. Check out our website, whatever else you want to do. If I do remember correctly, we had this conversation in your garage and I said, you know how we're going to get to the point where we love the trail we're on and we're not going to want to stop. And there's going to be some brush. And, uh, hey, Brandy, you mind jumping out and breaking these twigs for me in front of us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we get her a set of clippers?
It's a good trail, right? Got a tree down. This might be the biggest one I've cut through this little salt. Yeah. You gotta go from the bottom first. Battery dead? Yeah. How long's your win? Oh, I could, I could probably do that. Oh no, we can't because it's locked in between these trees. Okay, yeah, let's try and break this top first. Yeah, if we can't break that, we can't break it. Oh, it'll break. I think it's break. I'm just worried about flying off of there. It's not going to go anywhere. Back. Yeah, I'm going to back, back up a little up. bit. Keep going, keep going. I don't know if I'd stand there. Keep going. my truck. Put the brakes and everything else off. that tree on the driver's side. Now go straight. 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 Yeah. I can rock. Wait, is that Chevy or Ford? Ford built south. <laughs> Damn, Chevy's like a rock. Out. Nah, I'll just leave it in there, they'll love it. <laughs> Try it on YouTube. Yep, you got the right line. That trailer's pushing me. Are you in four wheel drive? Yeah, I'm in four low, but the trailer's pushing me. 
Yeah, now just keep it sharp and keep it rolling. There you go. That's it. You got it in, you got it in first gear, Al? Yeah. Okay. The trailer's heavy. You don't have brakes on, do you? No. Okay, so this has turned out to be quite an eventful little trail here. And we're getting close to dark now. We were talking about being home early today. And this seems to always happen. Like we find the best trails or the most, you know, the hardest obstacles on our way home or when it's about to get dark. It's 4 p.m. right now on a Sunday night. And we're three hours from home down in Arkansas somewhere. And if you just saw the video, you saw that the overlanding trailer had a little bit of issues, but not too bad. Just a little winch from the old Warren on the Ford. Problem solved. And it all may be for nothing uh, if this turns into a four-wheeler trail. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned here. This is a circle. Oh shit. I think we're at the end of the line, guys. What does that mean? <laughs> that means this trail goes nowhere. But it is a nice little circle drive, so you can come on up and make a little loop. That way you can say that you saw the whole trail through at least. We gonna get back up? Well, I'm thinking maybe we follow it down. This was the same loop that came through. Now when we turn, remember I turned right and you turned left and I turned around? Yeah. We can go down that. All right. Outdoor. 
I yeah, I think we go back down that. What do you think? That we end up have to go up the way we just came down. Well, you want to just cut our losses and go back the way we came in? Probably. He doesn't know if he can make it up that. I do want to say guys this was a team effort this is what overland is all about coming in hand for your buddies we all work together and we got this big truck with this big trailer loaded down with way too much gear for a two-day trip up this hill <laughs> damn you randy Exciting. We didn't get it. Well, I'm not going to be. Get in hell, Mike. Get in hell. They move up the hill. 